and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Sometimes something just catches your eye at a booth at SHOT Show that you gotta come check out. I'm here with Jeff from Desert Tech. Jeff, tell me a little bit about what we got here. Uh, this is the Trek 22. It is a polymer glass filled stock for the Ruger 1022. It's a bullpup configuration. Um, it kind of, uh, well, you can see it's got magazine storage. Uh, you've got additional features that you wouldn't have with a standard 22, 1022. You've got a pick rail across the top, uh, M lock slots, 3, 6, 9 o'clock, so you can add whatever accessories you want to run. It's got a free floated barrel channel, so you don't have to worry about accuracy issues with it. Uh, our trigger linkage actually reduces the trigger weight uh, by using uh, kind of a cantilever there to reduce the trigger pull weight. Uh, all the controls are retained, so the factory Ruger controls still work. You've got safety, bolt release, bolt lock, all those things are all right there, just like they would be on the standard 1022. So, so you yeah. basically just drop it in. You drop your you plane, Jane. Just drop it in. Yep. Wow. So you can basically just. I mean, the majority of the installation is just putting in all these screws. I mean, okay. You could take the you take the clamshell in half, take your rifle out of the other stock, drop it in here, tighten up the screws, and you're ready to go. Basically, you're ready to go. We got to try it a little bit earlier. Well, at least trigger. And the reset is actually fairly close. So you can get some quick, rapid shots out of this thing. Now, I guess what people are really wondering is how much they got to shell out to get one of these. Uh, when we put these on the market, we're planning on pricing them at $299. Okay. Quite reasonable. We'd like to think so. And hopefully, with the length, we can have them in Canada. <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed here. Good luck, Canada. <laughs> yeah, we got it rough. <laughs> All right, so this is one of the products I wanted to show. Let's head over to the next one. All right, Jeff. Tell me about this one here. What is this beautiful, good-looking bullpup? So this is the SRS M2. It is the latest revision of the Stealth Recon Scout rifle. Uh, the M2 is almost identical to the SRS A2, its predecessor. Okay. Um, the differences being that it has a 30 MOA one-piece optics rail across the top. Uh, the whole purpose of that is for using nighttime optics. Yeah. Uh, this will help keep your nighttime optics on the same axis as your daytime optics without having to change anything. And then in addition to that, on the bottom of the handguard here, you'll see we added a Area, four, uh, area 419 Arca-Lock rail. So that makes it a lot easier to add and move accessories around on, on the rifle. Um, you can slide your bipod, whatever you want, barricade stops, bags, whatever it might be bolt the gun into a tripod like that, move it around. I mean, it, it's just a really nice accessory rail. A lot of uh, a lot of people are going to the Arca lock and the Arca rail in general. So that's what uh, we added to the M2. Um, other than that, it's still the same Stealth Recon Scout, multi-caliber, you know, caliber swaps in under a minute. Yeah, All I, those I was reading that was one of the like, a big ticket feature on these yeah. rifles. Oh, it, it's definitely one. It, I mean, for me, it's one of the biggest selling points to me mm -hmm. as, as a shooter. That's what I want is that multi-caliber ability. I have like a dozen different barrels for my SRS, and I'm steadily cycling through them over over the years. So what are we talking? Are we swapping the bold face, swapping the barrel? Rated? It, depends, it depends. So like if you're going from similar heads, uh, uh, case head cartridges, then yep. you don't even need to change the bolt. So, like if I'm going from 308 to 65, I use the same bolt to swap the barrel and off I go. If I'm going from 65 to 300 Winchester, then I have to change the bolt, which takes a few seconds longer. But we got it down to our, our fastest time is 38 seconds swapping calibers. Jeez, that is quick. <laughs> so what are we talking? We're talking about a free floated bolt head on this thing? Uh, the bolt is a floating bolt head on this. Um, it runs on a cam pin inside here. The barrel is clamped into the chassis. That's why it's so quick to change and it's also why it has a return to zero guarantee so i can i could go zero this rifle at the range shoot a half inch group pull the barrel out put it back in and then shoot another half inch group on top of the the, the previous one that's pretty amazing yeah now are we are is this um sorry what was i going with this i can just edit this out <laughs> don't worry <laughs> no no we have to keep it in the video for you jeff we kept it in the video 
damn it. <laughs> What's our degree bolt throw? Are we talking 50, 60, 70? Uh, so it's, it's a three lug bolt, so it's a 60 degree lift, so it's a little bit shorter. It can take a little bit of getting used to for some people, and I've found it to be a, a love or hate. Mm -hmm. People either love it or they hate it. And for the people that do like it, it's it takes just a few strokes of the bolt to get quite quite efficient with it. So awesome. And for the trigger on this rifle, what are we talking in terms of lowest to highest weight? Is this an adjustable trigger? Uh, it's an adjustable trigger. Let's just say it's a really good adjustable trigger. <laughs> uh, We're gonna tri insert the uh, the specs on the on the screen, guys. For yeah, you. we'll put the we'll, we'll put that on the screen <laughs> later. It's adjustable from two to five pounds, I believe, okay. somewhere in that ballpark. Okay, that, that's a good weight. I mean, at two pounds, I'm happy, you know, most of the time. I think most people below that, and I feel like it starts to get dangerous. It goes before you're, like, a little bit ready, right? Right, exactly. So, But it's a great trigger. That's one thing that these rifles are famous for is being a great trigger, not just for a bullpup, but a good trigger, period. Yeah, I mean, especially for a bullpup, I mean, you... That, that, you got to do a lot of engineering to get it right. Right. All right, well, Jeff, thank you very much for, for coming on the show. You bet. We really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more SHOT Show 2022 coverage. Yeah, they're pretty hot to plug. Yeah, you can't have One, two, one, two, one. Billy, this is for you. That gun is so illegal in Canada. <laughs> They're too dangerous up north. Well, I did a one, oh, no, that one, was a one, 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 one. One one was one one one.